Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video, I'm gonna be discussing the fix and your Panasonic Plasma TV. This most likely is not from a drop. Sometimes boards do fail, ribbon connections, something happens to them, and unfortunately you get some very weird lines like this. You might think the panel is cracked. You might think, oh no, what have I done? But unfortunately, it's probably because this TV in particular is about nine years old and I experienced something similar to this with this one right over here. That's another Panasonic 50 inch. This one is from 2010 and there are a couple boards. We're gonna take the back off and show you those boards. First thing we're gonna do, which is the cheapest thing, is we are gonna be reinserting the ribbons about in that direction of the boards. We're gonna to get to that in just a little bit. First thing we need to do, we need to turn this TV around, unplug it from the outlet, and we're gonna take all the screws off the back paneling and remove the back. All right guys, with the back of the TV off, there's a ton of screws, so just be careful if it's not coming off easily, check down where it's getting stuck on. There's screws going into the main board right over here, bottom right, etc. And unfortunately, because this is an older TV, there's a lot going on here. We're getting our line on the front of it, right around this general area down here, okay? Again, make sure your television is off. You do not wanna get electrocuted. And so again, my television is off. And so I'd probably say these bottom four ribbons within this area is where we are going to de-seed the ribbon, plug the ribbons back in. So what we're gonna be doing here is, I'm very familiar with these from that Panasonic again. So what we're gonna do here is these guys flip up like this. Okay, they come right and they flip up to the left. So right and flip up to the left just like that. And then they're a little bit, I'm gonna have to use two hands because obviously you do not wanna rip these ribbons or do anything like that. And they are a little tricky. They pull out like this, as we can see, but then how to insert them, if they're the same from the other Panasonic, you're gonna have to use two hands and really kind of jam them in there from the different sides here. So take the top left and the bottom right down here with your right hand and go ahead and insert it, hook it back in, do that to all the ribbons down here and make sure it's seated correctly. If it's not seated correctly, you will actually turn the television back on, which we're gonna test in just a minute and you will actually see more green lines, et cetera, on the television. That just means that the connection cables aren't connecting very clearly. You could take it a step further. You could get some isopropyl alcohol, wipe down the ribbons. You can get a little uh, air blower thing, blow it in there. There's probably just one little ribbon connection that's not connecting properly. Or the worst case scenario, if this reseating does not work, you could actually try them all if you really want to, but if this does not work, it's probably in this case because it's coming off the bottom of the television, just one row, it's probably a bad board right here. So let me go ahead and do this off camera, reseat these, set them in there, kind of clean it. I'm gonna look through it a little bit more thoroughly and then we'll test it out. All right, after cleaning it with alcohol and reseating it, and if it, you still have the line that goes across, unfortunately it's gonna be a bad board right through here. These boards are different on this particular model of television. This one is the SU board and you're gonna find that right here. These are the model numbers. That's what you wanna search in eBay and buy that model number. That's the SU board. So if your line is horizontal across the top in this direction here, then it's gonna be the SU board. The one down here at the bottom for all these ribbons connected by this ribbon right here, these five ribbons, that's the SD. So in my case, it did not fix it after I cleaned it and reseated it. So unfortunately, I need a new SD board. And again, those model numbers are right here. So again, just type in your television model and you can put this right after in eBay, TNP A5091, or it's also right here, 5091AD and you'll be able to find that board pre-owned. What happens is that people crack their televisions when moving, they pull out the parts and sell the parts. So hopefully the video has helped you guys diagnose your issue and what potentially problem is so you guys can get back up in gaming, watching, whatever you need to do. You guys have a great day. Smash that thumbs up button if it has helped you diagnose the issue. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one. My name's Chris, take care. Bye-bye guys.